Hi, I'm Andrew from Logitech G, and I'm gonna show you how to use some of the features of our G-Hub software platform. On the home screen, you can see the game profiles on top and see what your active profile is. And in the middle, you can see all of your gear. The gear icon in the upper right-hand corner is the settings menu, where you can check for updates and see what the current version is. Now we're gonna take a look at the profile screen. A profile is a list of settings assigned to an application. G-Hub automatically detects the games you have installed. Select the profile to start customizing settings for each game. You can also create multiple profiles for each game for different characters or roles. For example, this could be sniper versus an assault class in a shooter, or it could be a healer versus a tank in an MMO. Always be careful to check which profile you're editing, and you can see which profile you're in by looking at the menu at the top. You always have access to the profile menu to make sure you're editing the right settings. Now let's take a look at making adjustments to your gear. First, we're gonna start with our brand new G502 Hero. On the left-hand side, it shows different categories you can change. This allows you to adjust the lighting of the specific product and also synchronize that lighting across multiple devices. In the assignments view, you can assign all sorts of different functions to the buttons. Simply drag and drop the different functions or macros onto the button you want. There are many different types of commands that can be assigned, but we're gonna take a look at that a little bit later. In the sensitivity section, you can add or subtract different DPI settings, change their polling rate, and assign a DPI shift to quickly switch between two different settings. You can also fine tune product specific settings by clicking the gear icon. This page has surface tuning, firmware versions, and onboard memory profiles. Some tabs have a lock icon. This allows you to lock settings even when changing profiles. Now we're gonna use the G910 keyboard to take a deeper look at the assignments menu. The assignments view will change depending on the game profile that's selected. For example, PUBG has settings for different actions commonly used in that game. We have a new feature called Actions, where you can integrate third-party apps like OBS. After integrating, you can create shortcuts from the other application to do things like mute, unmute, switch scenes, start recording, and more. We've also completely overhauled our macro editor to make it more powerful, flexible, and easier to use. For example, Using actions, you can switch your stream to a break, play a commercial, and mute your microphone all at the same time with a single G key. Click the upper right-hand corner if you want to fine-tune your macros to include longer or shorter pauses. If you want to change the order of your commands, you can simply click and drag them around. Another cool new feature is you can color code different commands which will be reflected on the RGB lighting of your keyboard. With our new LightSync animation editor, you can create your own custom animations. Choose from a pre-made animation or customize to make your own. A great way to get inspired with cool settings is through our community portal. Download the settings that others have made or share yours to the community. On the community page, just find a profile that looks cool, download, and click apply. Animations can be applied to different keyboards, so even if the animation isn't for your specific keyboard, it'll still work. You can also download profiles as a complete theme or for a specific game, and they will be applied to all your devices. This is a great way to save time configuring by trying out other people's settings. We're constantly making improvements and updates to G-Hub, so please keep sending us your feedback. To learn more, go to logitechg.com and keep playing.